i had a friend from high school who came to st. mike's and i came to visit and everyone was just really great and friendly and open and it just seemed like the right place for me. the main reasons i decided to come to st. mike's were for the size of the school the athletic coaches and the teachers here. and teaching you more than just your major teaching you about life so i thought that was something i hadn't seen anywhere else. i visited here with ah friends of my parents and i love the place. it was an incredible very comprehensive well-rounded experience being here um it's a it's just a brilliant campus. I think the thing that we should remember about St. Michael's is that it is a highly effective institution, that it's an institution that has drawn faculty from all over the country and indeed the world. I'd say that the academics here are, are challenging, but the teachers really engage you and, and make you want to learn. I like a challenge. Challenge pushes you to do better, to do, to excel. All departments here really do their best to try to help us expand our world views, really help us to, to see how we can contribute to the world in which we live. Above all, I want students to be critical thinkers. That's the ultimate goal of a liberal arts education, to come away having thought about the culture that you live in and be in a position to assess issues and concerns as they come forward. Burlington, Vermont is a city that has four or five different colleges in it, so you're always going to find people your age hanging out downtown. Burlington offers so many things to do. Restaurants, stores, the waterfront. It only takes about ten minutes from campus to get to Lake Champlain, where you can go sea kayaking or swimming. It's only about a half an hour drive to the mountains. It's the best of both worlds. Skiing is incredible. I've been able to ski at four different mountains every year. Um, it's very reasonable for college students to get passes. The mountains are unlike anything that you've ever experienced before in your life. Lake Champlain is beautiful. To be in Burlington, to be among the Green Mountains, and to just be in Vermont, it's such a great place to go to college. I've known in my four years here, the faculty has always been very involved in the lives of the students in a lot of ways. For me, it's the relationship which precedes the other things that are very important, writing well, uh, thinking critically, being able to express themselves, etc. Most professors give me their office number and their email. Some of them do give me their home numbers, and I'm not afraid to call them. They have my home number. They have my email. They have my private email. We really are a team. You just create this unbelievable tie with them that you would never get at a large school. I think the support of the faculty and staff will be something I always keep with me because, I mean, I stop in at my advisor's office every day and I talk with him and I can talk with him about anything. That's the best thing. The advisor is an academic advisor, but having said that, this is a place where we deal with whole people. Well, my advisor likes to step back and let me make my own decisions. He kind of prods me in the right direction every now and then. He's a good guy. Internships are a way to prepare you for uh, life after college. I'm an intern at uh, WPTZ, which is the NBC affiliate. I help interview, I help write stories for broadcast, and I help edit. When I graduate, I want to um, be a reporter. It's definitely something that I can see myself doing. They work very hard, um, and they're very proud of themselves by the time they get through. It's prepared me for what I want to do after college, and it also gave me an idea, um, you know, what's out there in the real world, what are my options. We're a residential institution and 95% of our students live here at the college. That means that we're a real academic community and not just a place that students visit on occasion for a class or two. I like having everyone on campus because they're all just all around you. You know that your friends are going to be right across the field or you're going to bump into someone later. Living off campus just seems like a foreign concept because I just couldn't imagine not being here. When I walk to dinner, when I walk to lunch, I feel like I'm in a community. I feel like I know people around me. After your first year, you can sometimes be in a townhouse. I live uh, with international students and American students in the same house. It's an amazing experience uh, being at the same time with students from different continents, from different backgrounds. At college, you're living together, eating with, studying with, working with the same people. If you live off campus, you're like, 
shelter. They're like away from the whole college life. It's just better to live on campus. I think there's just so much going on in campus that you wouldn't want to live away from it. When you get here, you're going to be blown away by the number of opportunities. There's really something for everyone here. There's a lot of live music, and there's a lot of drama, too. Well, there are two major main stage productions. I helped choreograph a dance for the soldiers. I want to be an actress. I'm the captain of the cross-country team. Um, I'm also a mentor. I'm the vice president of my class, and I'm on some committees. My friends and I started a step team last year. It's just like an African art form with, like, stomping and clapping to make beats. This is the first step team at St. Mike's, and it was really, really exciting. I love watching people outside. I love being outside myself and teaching my skills that I have learned through the wilderness program to other people as well. I've done intramural sports from softball to basketball to soccer, and I've done a lot of other things with student government and other programs such as Move and Leap. Move is a mobilization of volunteer efforts, and part of the mission of St. Mike's is to serve the surrounding community, and I feel so lucky to be at St. Mike's and to be able to give back to a community that's brought so much to my college career. I'd say I've made my best friends here. Um, I keep in touch with some of my high school friends now, but I think that I'll always keep in touch with my St. Mike's friends. The faculty, um, the staff, and just the friends that I've made, it's just been amazing. I like it here just like right now this time, so when I think back, I'm going to be like, oh, that was so much fun. I wish I could just go back to that time. I wasn't sure whether I'll have as many friends as I had in Russia. and. Uh, it turned out to be that I had nothing to worry about. I loved it. It was great. It was by far the best four years of my life, by far. You need to find a way to learn more about the things in this video which intrigued you. Get up to campus, email, do what you need to do to find out more because I think you'll like what you see. If I could give any advice to a senior in high school looking at colleges, I would say follow your heart. I definitely feel like I made the right decision to come to St. Mike's. I made the best friends of my life here and it's offered so many opportunities for me.